What's up guys? I, like many of you guys out there, I'm sure have been burning through my Netflix queue and ever since watching First Wives Club a couple nights ago, I have not been able to get this video idea out of my head. And by video idea, I really just mean I've been wanting to do a 90s Bette Midler inspired makeup look. And when I really thought about it, it's elegant and it's like classically 90s, but it's super simple. So I think it's gonna be a really fast look, pull in some of the products. A lot of them are relatively new, but I don't think any of it's gonna be very complicated. So so if you want to be a part of this Netflix inspired makeup look, please stay tuned. And while you're watching, I would love it if you left whatever you're watching on Netflix or your streaming service of choice down in the comments for the rest of us in case we are, you know, run running out of picks because some of us like me might be. So to start, I do already have foundation and concealer on. I'm using my trusty Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation in the shade Soft Beige. For concealer, I am actually all out of my Beauty Bakery Insta Bake, so I'm going back into my NARS Complete uh, Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Mine is in the shade Custard or Medium 1. It's a little bit drier than that Beauty Bakery, but because the weather is warming up, I feel like this is going to work pretty well for my skin at this point. So went ahead and applied that in my under, air, uh, under eye area. Area and wherever else I have breakouts going on, which is kind of everywhere right now. And then on my brows, I am using a combination of my Urban Decay Primer Potion, actually. I use that to fluff and backcomb them, and then I went in with my usual Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel in the shade Medium Brown. I believe you are now all caught up. Let's get into the good stuff. First, starting with eyeshadow. I have had this brand new palette. Well, it's not really brand new at this point because of how long it has been sitting in my to-use makeup drawer in front of me. It is the uh, um, Pixie Eye Reflection Shadow Palette in Natural Beauty. And appropriately enough, when I was trying to figure out what palette I wanted to reach for, this one naturally spoke to me because it's nothing but cool browns and beiges, which is so classically 90s. It has a mixture of textures, so there are some mattes in here, there are some shimmers. You could totally reach into both if you wanted to do an updated look, but I am going to strictly be using the mattes this time around. Probably even one matte shadow, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna go in with this shade right down here for my skin tone. It's like a couple shades deeper. So it's like a soft smoky eye, but not an ultra glam smoky eye. And I think that is probably the shade soft brown. I, I get kind of confused with the way the names are printed here on the back. So I think that is soft brown. And then this one over here is deep taupe. So I'm just gonna go in with a fluffy brush. This is my Wet n Wild P20. I'm gonna start in the crease, kind of outer corner crease. Oh, by the way, I'm not priming because as I make this video, it's like almost 6 p.m. So not only does this eyeshadow not have a lot longer to last here in the day, but let's be honest. <laughs> Am I leaving the house? No. So that of course might impact the pigmentation here as well. If you are watching this in a post quarantine world, probably will want to prime your eyes with something to not only help amp up that pigment, but also help with the lasting power. But right now I'm just gonna kind of go as is, au natural. So this is actually coming out to be a little bit softer than I thought it would be and that I actually want it for this look. The specific scene I'm referencing, the makeup looks are, are pretty similar throughout the whole video, but the one I was like that inspired this look was at the very end when they're at the gala, gala, the party for the opening of the center and Bette Midler has like this somewhat smokier look on her eyes and then a nice grayy. actually it was kind of more of a warm toned lip on but it was a little bit more dramatic than her looks in the rest of the movie had been and so that's that's kind of what I'm trying to go recreate here. So then to amp the smokiness up I am going to go into that deep taupe shade. Wow this is this shadow is going everywhere. Granted, I'm applying it with a pretty heavy hand. There's fallout here, but I'm also flinging it like here in my inner corner, I guess when I blend in. Heads up, this is a very soft, relatively pigmented, but also loosely packed shadow. It will fly. So for the lower lash line, because I'm already gonna have some cleaning up to do here, I'm not gonna be super precise about this, but I am just gonna take a combination of the two shades that I have now used on my lid and run that along my lower lash line. Boom, eyes are done. Well, shadow is done. Now I'm gonna go in with mascara. This is my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I'm gonna give my lashes just a few good coats of that. And that 
is the lashes. Now for the face, also very simple. I'm reaching for kind of an apricot tone blush. This is from City Color. It's their Be Matte Blush in the shade Papaya, but it's basically on my skin tone, kind of a blush slash bronzer. There wasn't a whole lot of bronzer happening in Beth's look in that final scene. It was just kind of a hint of blush, almost like a remnant of 80s kind of blush where it's like lots of it but just not all over the face. So I'm gonna go in here, kind of underneath my cheekbones where I would generally put bronzer and then swoop it. She actually had it under the apples of her cheeks and granted that's probably what was right for her face shape, but you know, just to kind of see what it does for mine, I'm gonna do that. Not bad, but honestly probably a little bit pinker than what she was wearing there. She really had something that was closer to a bronzer in hindsight, I think. Okay, so it was like pretty definitively more of a bronzer than that. So I'm just gonna reach into what I have nearby into this Urban Decay Naked Threesome palette, going into this bronzer, which is a little bit warmer than I think I would like, but we're winging it. And that kind of toned down the pink in there, right? Sure. Now last is my favorite part of any 90s look, which is the lip, because it's like slightly deeper, slightly grazier, like more cool toned than a warm lip that we see so much today. So I'm gonna start with a liner. This is Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Conspiracy. And I'm not being especially careful with this because I am gonna go in and apply some lipstick over top, but I just wanted a more definitive lip line. And then over that, I think I'm going to apply a combination of two new shades I have in the Revlon Luscious Matte Lipstick Collection collection that I just swatched in my last video. The shades are number 11, Untold Stories, which is like a soft nude shade. And the other is Hot Chocolate, number 13, which is a closer match for the line that I have going on in my lip, but I do want a little bit of a highlight in this lip look. So first I'm applying Hot Chocolate all over my lips, patting it in pretty much everywhere. Then I went in with that lighter shade, Untold Stories, patting that just in the center of my lips, and then honestly kind of blending it in with everything else and I really like the way it looked. It's kind of like a classic gradient lip, but it was a little bit too warm, especially for the cool taupes I have on my eyes right now. So another amazing shade from this collection is a straight up gray. It is called Moonlight and that I put in the outer corners of my lips because I still wanted that lightness from the lightest shade in the center of my lips. So I just added a little bit of cool depth around the outer portions and I think it cooled everything off like just enough to match the eyes and that is where I'm gonna call it a day with this look. I really like how this turned out. I don't know that it's identical to the look she was wearing in that scene, but this is more of an inspired by sort of look and it definitely got the urge to do it out of my system. So check and check. And in general, I think there are some tips I learned here that I will be carrying with me, like this whole um, blush slash bronzer situation. It's a lot less work than the full on full face bronze and then blush and then highlight. Simple, but still gives you a little bit of sculpting in the cheeks. And then this lip, who would have thought combining those three lip shades would have created something that I, well, technically four, including the liner, but I just really, really love the look it created there. So possibly a new favorite lip combination as well. So really hope you guys enjoyed this, just kind of playing around in makeup, inspired by Netflix. Once again, leave the videos, movies that you are watching on Netflix down below. I don't know, maybe we could make this like a thing, a series. Let me know your thoughts on that too. If you want to go check out that lipstick video where I swatch all of these luscious matte shades from Revlon, you can click right here. Otherwise, please subscribe if you haven't already. I will catch you in the next video, guys. Bye.